What's up? Good morning, guys. Welcome to the last day of my junior year in chemical engineering. Technically, technically, it's not like the official last day, but it's the last day for this set of classes. So we're gonna count it. I also wanted to make sure I recorded this video on like the same day of classes as the first day of classes, if that makes sense, because I wanna get all my friends' opinions on how their semesters went and have them share one word to describe their semester. But that'll happen later on in the video. So as you guys just saw, we just hit the gym. That's why I'm a sweaty mess but that's okay. I have my marathon coming up in like less than two weeks and you might be saying okay why were you on the elliptical probably should be running like marathon soon so technically I'm in the taper which for those of you that are not runners and don't know two to three weeks out before a race you slowly decrease your mileage you decrease your intensity just give yourself time to recover before the big race so perfectly timed with my taper weeks I had my runner's knee flare up again in my left knee it's really bad this time and i'm also dealing with really bad seasonal allergies that have just made running completely not worth it right now so i'm trying to like heal my knee heal my sinuses all at once so running really hasn't been happening the past few days and i'm not gonna lie my confidence for this race has definitely gone down a little bit because like not being able to run i'm like can i even run you know but I've been trying to do like different forms of cardio, kind of cross train. So yesterday I actually, you guys will be proud, I got in the pool for the first time and did a little swim workout, swim training, because I've never really swam like legitimately before. So that was really fun. I'm part of the triathlon club here. So we coordinated with the swim club and they gave us a couple lanes to just kind of mess around. So that happened last night. That was really fun and super low impact on the knee, obviously. Today, as you guys saw, I went on the elliptical. Tomorrow, I don't know what I'll do. We'll see. I'm really not trying to push it. The goal for this marathon is just to finish the race. So hopefully we can get that done. It's on May 7th. So send up your good vibes. Now, before we get dressed and get some breakfast, get some coffee, I just wanted to let you know that this video is being sponsored by Brilliant yet again. You guys may have heard me talk about them in some of my previous videos, but more on them later. Just wanted to let you know. With that being said, let's get this day started because it's already 8.30 and I wanna be up in the lab building in like an hour. So let's see if we can get that done. just turned 9 a.m. We're way ahead of schedule. I think I'm gonna head downstairs to the cafe and grab an iced coffee for myself because I wasn't really feeling hot coffee this morning. So I'm gonna do that. If the line's really long though, I'm probably gonna walk up to the engineering building and grab a coffee there. Either way, I'll see you soon. has come we're about to go into our microbial lab and i have to ask all of my chemi friends what their final word is to describe the semester if you guys haven't seen the like first day of classes vlog i asked everybody like how they were feeling about the semester so this is the update how do you guys feel about this semester i'm nervous awful okay <laughs> confused confused as you can see off to a great start what's your I don't know, I'm scared. Worry. Scared? Yeah. Worry. No one has That's a positive magic. response. Is that worrying? <laughs> How do you feel about the semester in one word? The semester was definitely unexpected. Unexpected, okay. The semester was intriguing. Intriguing. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. What's your one word to describe the semester? My one word? Yeah. Burnt out. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Anna! Good morning. What's your one word to describe the semester? Grown. Grown, alright. 
like you want context? Sure. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like this semester when we first started, we were like all scared about like how the semester would go and stuff. Now that we've like kind of gone through it, same old, you know, it's just chemi, same just professors, you know, just take the exam and hopefully you pass. And I don't know, there's not much to it, guys. <laughs> All right, so that was a super quick lab because we basically just had to do our final quiz of the semester and then we could leave. So literally in and out in like 20 minutes. I didn't think it was too bad. So now the lab is done. Crazy. I think I'm gonna spend the next few hours because my next class starts at two and it's not even noon yet. So I think I'm gonna spend that time at the Ram's Den and eventually grab lunch there, but just kind of hang out, start studying maybe for an exam I have Monday, but we'll see. I'm also trying to take it a little easy on myself. We'll see what I get done. I freaking love campus this time of year. Everything is blooming, the sun is out, birds are chirping. It really helps the seasonal depression. Although my allergies hate it, it's definitely worth it. There's so many tours going on right now and I honestly remember like touring this place and it's so crazy to think that I'm already like done with my junior year here. It's crazy and seeing like people walking around for the first time on this campus. I don't know, very nostalgic moment. So I just finished up my lunch and I actually completely forgot that today they're doing an engineering picnic for the College of Engineering over on the quad by the engineering building. How many times did I just say engineering in one sentence? That's insane. Engineering, engineering, engineering. So instead of hanging out in the Ram's Den and just like getting homework done and all of that for the next couple hours, I'm gonna go see if anyone I know is over at the picnic because that sounds like fun. It's such a nice day out. I don't know. Picnic sounds like fun. Just a little time update. It's 12.23, so my next class starts at two. That goes from two to 3.15, and then I'm done with classes for the day. So I have a meeting later for Theta Ta, which is the professional co-ed engineering frat that I'm in. But other than that, I might spend some time in the lab doing some research stuff. I don't know, we'll see. Hold up, hold up, pause on the time lapse, pause on the studying. It's future Lauren here. Time to talk about this video's sponsor, Brilliant.org. You guys may have heard me talk about it before in a few other videos, but I'm here again to talk about Brilliant and how much I love it and how much I think it will be an asset to all of your guys' lives. So I know final season just finished up for a lot of us. Summer is starting and we're kind of getting away from the daily grind of classes and homework. But the cool thing is, even if you have a job, this summer or you have an internship like me, the cool thing about Brilliant is you can spend like 15 minutes a day, which is no time at all, and start mastering topics that you're interested in ASAP. So yeah, I think Brilliant can be a true game changer for all of us this summer, both for staying up to date on recent innovations because they have courses on like AI and all that fun stuff going on right now, and also keeping you like mentally sharp because I know that happens a lot over the summer. We kind of start lacking and forgetting about what we had learned over the previous school semesters. So Brilliant is gonna make it easier for you guys to keep, maintain, and build that daily learning habit throughout the summer. I like it so much because you're not just like memorizing a list of equations. It's not like a basic website with all these lists of topics. Like, no. Brilliant actually builds your intuition. So when you get into your next semester or next school year, you're going to see a problem and have all the tools you need in order to solve it. It's kind of like a superpower. I know during the summer, a lot of the times it's fun to pick up like a new skill or a new hobby. And that's another reason why I think Brilliant is just so perfect. It's a super low pressure, low stress way to interactively learn like thousands of new topics that you might have never taken a class on before. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, 
visit brilliant.org slash Lauren Abbey. That's L-A-U-R-E-N-A-B-B-E-Y. Or just visit that top link in the description. Along with that first free 30 days to try it out, the first 200 of you will get 20% off of Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So seriously guys, take advantage of this for the summer. You won't regret it. If you do happen to check it out, please comment down below or DM me on Instagram. Like, let me know what courses you're taking because I'd love some inspiration and I'd love to share the journey with you all. So back to the video. So class is all done for the day, thank God. Right now I'm heading into lab and I'm gonna be working with my grad student to kind of wrap up a few things for the semester. So nothing too crazy, shouldn't take more than like an hour or two. And then after that, probably do some more homework, do some more studying and then grab some dinner. That's the plan. So that's a huge weight off my shoulders. I am giving a poster presentation next week for like an undergraduate symposium that's here. And I had to make a poster for the project I've been working on for the past two semesters. And I just finished it up and sent it on off to my PI so he can review it. So super excited about that. I'm pretty proud of it. I don't know. Hopefully my PI has good edits and comments to make. Yeah. I've made a couple posters now for like poster presentations for various projects and I really like it because I feel like it's a good way to stretch the creative muscle in the midst of like doing research or studying science. The day is almost coming to an end. There's only a few more things that I have to check off my to-do list. I think right now I'm gonna head down to the dining hall to grab some dinner and then I'm gonna head back to the dorm, grab my car, drive up to the top of campus because I have chapter tonight starting at 7.30, I believe. But at 6.30, we're doing some like lawn games out on the quad. So that should be pretty fun. That's the plan for right now for the next few hours. Let's get it done. We are back where it all began, back in the suite. I'm just here quickly to pick up my coat, my car keys, and then I'm gonna head down to the parking lot drive up to a closer place to where we have our chapter. That way I don't have to walk like all the way back down campus. It's just a lot easier for me to drive up, trust me. Also, I realize I haven't shared this little like life hack slash just what I've been doing this semester that's brought me some little bit of happiness. Every time I go to the dining hall, I grab a little cup of cereal and I just take it back with me. Like it sounds really dumb and simple, but it's a little, little cup of cinnamon toast crunch. Like that's so happy and I don't know, they have a bunch of cereals at the dining hall I always go to, so like, it was Lucky Charms for a while, still love a good Lucky Charm, but lately, the past couple days, I've been doing Cinnamon Toast Crunch, so don't hate on, don't discount cereal. So good. So good. And just like that, our last chapter of the semester is over, the last chapter of the year, which is crazy. It's kind of really sad that a lot of my senior friends are about to graduate and not be there anymore. I guess time just keeps marching on. I don't know, it's crazy. Crazy to think that we're about to enter senior year, which I literally was a freshman like two seconds ago. I don't know where the time went. If you go back and watch my vlogs, like, I feel like a different human. I don't recognize who I was back then, but like, I just feel like no time has passed at all. So this is just so strange. I have a jam packed day planned for tomorrow. So I'm gonna head back. It's just past 8 p.m. I'm gonna head back, take a shower and kind of get ready for bed. The good thing about chapter is I actually get like a good amount of work done because while everyone's talking, I'm listening and like also doing a little bit of homework, a little bit of studying. I'm gonna go ahead and head back down to the dorm so I can get my nighttime routine started. I will see you there. So it's been one hell of a day. Before I hop in the shower, I'm just gonna end this video off here because 
nothing else is going on. I'm gonna take a shower, get into bed, watch some TikTok, and fall asleep. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and do all those normal YouTube things because it really helps me out. Again, visit the top link in the description or brilliant.org slash Lauren Abbey to check out Brilliant, check out those free courses that you have available to you if you use that link. You won't regret it. I hope the end of your guys' semesters went well. I hope summer is going well for you all whenever you're watching this. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.